Your mother's daughter, all right. <gasps> she always said how the forest was her first love. And how she wished she could marry the forest and have a simpler life. Uh, our Lady Rose was a proper lady. We all miss her so much. But I don't think she loved anything more than you. Uh, begging your pardon. Oh, I must get on. Uh, Lord Kiltree has invited me to the opera tonight. Uncle Archibald's doing, I dare say. Good day, Mr. Forrest. Of course, the business you want to invest in these days is synthetics, so much better than man-made materials. It's cleaner, more reliable, a smart man could corner the market now. Oh, really? Yes, a smart man would build factories now and make a fortune. And a smart man like me, who's making a fortune, well, he's going to want... Close your eyes. Open. Lucky you. Oh. Oh, Mother, the bluebells are so very lovely this season. How oh, I do wish you were here to see them. And the oaks in the wood are having a wonderful year. Lord Kiltree has asked me to marry him. I think it was a great Uncle Archibald's idea. He, he says I should be very glad for the offer, what with the state of our affairs. He says it's it's the only way I can continue on at Marchfield. And I do so want to stay. It's where, it's where I feel closest to you, of course. Well, apart from when I'm here with the actual dead you. Oh, Mother. You would be proud of me, wouldn't you? It, it is what you would want me to do. To marry Lord Kiltree. To be able to save our beloved Marchfield. Do you have a favourite flower, Lord Kiltree? <laughs> flower? I guess, uh, I suppose a tulip. My great-grandfather made a killing in tulip speculation back in the day. What, what about trees? Ah, now trees. There is a profitable flora. Acres of income. Why, I don't think you have any idea how much a uh, profitable timber you have behind that garden wall right there. Well, whatever do you mean? <laughs> Nothing for you to bother your pretty little lady mind with. Uh, just suffice to say that when we are wed, I will uh, take all those trees and cut them down and sell them for a mountain of cash. And then I'll use the land and on it I will build a state-of-the-art synthetics factory and make even more money and then I'll pile all that money up and I'll roll around in it for a bit and then when I've done that for a bit I'll give you some money and you can employ some new servants and buy a new wardrobe. No future Lady Kiltree is going to wear the same outfit day after day. But, but you can't! Close your eyes. Mother's favourite. She wouldn't want you to be so sad. She's still with you, even on days such as this. Especially on days such as this. She's with all of us. 
Thank you, Mr. Forrest. I know you're right. Mother wouldn't want any of this. Lady Lily. Now, I know you don't have a lady's maid because you're so terribly poor these days, but surely even you know that carrying wildflowers and wearing Wellington boots is not suitable for a lady at an engagement party, least of all, her own. You know, that is perfectly true. Hmm. Except I'm not going to any engagement party. I'm not sure I like your tone. What do you mean? That's right. What? You heard me. Oh. What? How dare you? My ring. Keep your ring. ring. <laughs> and keep your greedy hands off of my trees. Oh, where is the ring? Oh, mother. I'm sure of it. I know that you would never want me to let a man like that destroy our beloved forest. I will find another way to save our march field. Any other way. <laughs> you always said how much you loved the forest. Or was it Mr. Forest you were talking about? Now that I think about it, our eyes are very similar. Oh, Mother, your first love wasn't the forest, it was Mr. Forest, which, which means I 